Hey y'all, I'm on my walk, right? I should be singing. Ain't no stopping us now. Funny, right? Can you see? I'm so short, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to show you. This is on a building. Ah, I'm like so short. It's terrible. Can you really see some of the pictures? They did all the graffiti. I know. I'm doing my walk, so you know I'm gonna show you the town. I know, right? You got. I. I hear that's a peso sign. Is that French? They're saying that's a peso sign. Not Spanish like we thought, I guess. So I just went to the post office, guys, because, you know, us empaths, we are super fearless. We don't walk around with fear like a lot of the narcissists do, right? Everybody wants to be the elect, but all I see is a bunch of rejects. So let me fix my little stick. I'm gonna walk downtown. I hope you can see me, okay? How's your day going, guys? My hair's a hot mess. So I just wanna give you guys encouragement because a lot of people are so scared, especially the narcissists. You notice they're the most fearful people. They'll do the craziest things, like they'll party really hard. I was gonna do a video about piercings today. Don't get me started. You know, those piercings don't even heal all the way and those holes don't even close all the way so unsanitary i know narcissists who uh get lots of piercings like they have no fear to mutilate their bodies but you try to um you know tell them to handle their business they're like hiding from the bill collectors you notice that we're made from a different cloth. I mean, you can obviously see, I walk around and I say a message everywhere I go. I have my bag, I don't know if you guys can see. Breast implant illness, that's black and white ribbon for um, awareness, raising awareness that implants causes a lot of issues, the big C being connected with fibromyalgia. I'm sorry about the winds. I'm gonna cut this corner in a second. So guys, stay fearless. Everyone's like, I'm the elect, I'm special. You know, the topic of empathy and empath, being, you know, one of those souls that came into this world to fight oppression, like real oppression. You know, to do the work of the Most High, to be the Joseph in the family, to be the Abraham, to be like that woman that stood up to Antiochus Epiphanes, that's in the Apocrypha, with the seven sons. I'll have, I did a video about her. She was amazing. How oh, she just stood up to that bastard. She was fearless. She was showing what a true warrior of God is. A true warrior of God is not sitting in front of the computer, you know, week after week, complaining about Pharaoh, but never contending with Pharaoh, never even trying to work out solutions, you know? Like, I've been dealing with my own processes. I share a little bit, but I can't share too much because your enemies are super obsessed with you. People that you didn't even think were your enemies, you know? That's what narcissists, narcissists do. They wear a mask to try to get really close to you. So look for the signs of that. They're really fearful and very superstitious, to be honest. And they project their fears on you. A lot of them are very fearful to age. They're very, this is all they have is their shell because that's how they got over in life. So you'll see them, I mean, I see men here, they, they can tan too much or work out too much. You know, there's a threshold, but when they turn themselves into damn near cartoon characters, you know, there's something deeper involved, you know? So um, I had to deal with one of the commercial agents, a utility, right? And um, I just sent another letter and they're finally, you know, even though they may act foolish or um, act like they don't know what 
what you're talking about at first. It really is on your spirit. Do you have courage? Not being brave, meaning that you're just a condescending, cocky, you know what, right? Because everyone's like, oh, I'm brave. Well, you can do something really audacious and really rude. And then you're like, damn, that was brave, you know? We want to do it in the ways that count. I don't want to just pound my fist and talk about Pharaoh. I want to get out there and do and be brave like Joseph and Abraham and Noah and all those. And there's amazing women too who contended with wicked men and wicked women. You know, we know the Jezebel story, you know, and just let the most high lead you. He's going to give you courage. He's going to give you power to, you know, and he's going to respect you a lot more for it. He will respect you a lot more if you go contend with the Pharaoh in your life, the narc in your life, then, you know, I know a lot of people say no contact is not, you know, we're talking about, you know, unlawful or crooked commercial agents. My law people know what I'm talking about. You got a lot of these characters online they pound their fists, they have all this to say, but when the bill collector calls, I bet you they don't want to answer the phone. I bet you there'll be scaredy little cats running. I've seen grown men like <laughs> shrivel into the damn ghoul that they are, right? It's like they turn into Ariel, her voice was lost. Find your voice, guys. Empaths, your voice is deep within, but only with you know, help from above, keeping yourself to yourself, setting yourself apart. It's okay if you don't follow the crowd. I literally had to refuse a um, tubing trip <laughs> in New Hampshire. I'm like, no, I got, I got to grind. You know, I'm too on my grind, guys. It's just too much to be done. So I'm like, nope, I'm going to stick and do my plan. But, um, yeah, so um, some a lot of these dealings, once you become more brave and they can sense that about you, they'll want to work with you more. It might be more in the private. You might get some phone calls or they at least want to understand more. So you keep um, working with them. Don't shy away from it. That's the worst thing you can do is shy away from what, you know, because fear is a damn you know people love going on roller coasters right fear can be a great motivator not to do anything crazy and jump off cliffs because you know I do know with some people with these narcissists they like to do the real seeking things right but when it comes to speaking up for themselves some people feel like they always have to get a lawyer they don't know how to hand they're not competent they're really not competent right so that's what it is. You really got to get confident. But the most high works with the elect. It's like he will touch you. It will be like a chosen situation where he chooses you for a specific purpose. And many people in the Bible for many different things were chosen from it. Don't mind my hair. We're chosen for different things, right? Outside of, you know, the main um, characters in the story. So don't let anybody like dampen your life's purpose because a lot of these narcs they really don't have a life's purpose if you notice they really cater to a certain audience and these are people who have narcissistic traits within themselves and you'd be surprised that there is a lot of men and there's a lot of women too a lot of women are very codependent and they're toxic and um, you'll see them like gravitate toward married men online. Questionable behavior, right? So these narcissists, they're full of fear. They'll have, they'll, you know, that's how the agenda worked on the people who were pushing the mandates, the people who were not wanting to talk to you over the sniffles, right? Um, you know, the most high is going to show us when push comes to shove, that's who you're going to know who the real narcs are and I wanted to read you guys a section here this is a really great book I think it's from the art of war um it was page 22 well section 22 I'm going to take the back straight so I can 
kill a few more minutes. I got to go get my pods for my coffee machine. Um, somewhere in here. Hold on, guys. Hold on, my friends. All right. You read this too quick. It's really good. Always carefully discern the enemy's purpose. True knowledge of the enemy comes from active contact. Provoke them to reveal themselves, assessing their nature and responses. Prick them and know their movements. Probe them, probe them and know their strength and deficiencies. Isn't that the damn truth? Right? Um, yeah, with these narcissists, like you can really trigger them because they're so fearful and superstitious. They have a fear of everything, including their own shadow, and they will literally project. So like, you know, bring up some ideas around them. See if that triggers them, you know, um, get into a healthy debate, you know, poke them a little, right? You ever heard that term? Don't, don't poke a sleeping bear. Yeah, poke them a little, right? And then you're going to see the visceral and the fear. And then how they're going to project that. And these people act like they're the toughest people alive, right? <laughs> Push cups to shove. They're stuttering. They're bending over, right? If the bill collectors call, they don't know how to handle their shit. They don't know how to speak up. My husband is a great example. He, um had to give somebody a pep talk, but I had to work on my husband's confidence. You know, even at his age, his confidence was really shaky. And, um, you know, if I, if he wasn't such a good man to me, I wouldn't have like invested and wasted my time because it, it was a bit annoying or whatever. But, um, you know, um, I had to help him work on his confidence. And I'm glad I did that because he ended up paying it forward. And he was working with a Cape Verdean man who was doing first shift. And the boss, wanted him to do second shift and he's like and he has young children he's like oh man but he was so scared to even speak up to the boss like my husband had to tell him you need to speak up because if you just do whatever they're just gonna see that in you and then you're gonna have to do all the shit shifts so like let them know now be firm be respectful speak up right like i said in my other video closed mouths don't get fed and guess what he did that and he was very very grateful and he was able to keep for a shift but narcissists you know i'm not saying he was that too but a lot of these people you know these jerks out there who are like you know people who overcompensate people with a lot of attitude they act all big and bad they act like they can do all this and that but then when you put them around like in a real arena, you're going to see the most highest warriors from the perpetrators because the people in the Bible, they were actually contending, right? With the adversaries, they weren't sitting around talking about it and just uh, being snarky and then calling themselves brave. You ain't brave, but be brave guys in all the right ways. Um, I had to face some of my fears today and it worked out pretty well. I'll let you guys go. I'm at my destination as you can see. Um, and um, I had to do a little bit of studying, but it took me a few days. Even if it takes you a few extra days to have the confidence you need, you know, to um, talk to who you need to talk to, that is fine. But you know what? The elect, we're going to face these things head on, even if it's scary. You know, people like going on a roller coaster. That's scary. Sometimes scary things can be a little fun if it's within reason, right? So, you know, facing these things will actually make you feel stronger each and every time. And then that way you'll be there to empower others. So I'm so, I'm so glad to help my husband do that. So I hope that helped you guys. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.